Welcome back to Idaho Voyager, everybody. Well, we're at it again. We're stepping out for a quick one week getaway to the beautiful Oregon coast. And as we usually like to do, we're splitting the trip in half. So we don't have such a long drive on one particular day. We just get there in two pieces. And it just so happens, we found a great little spot exactly halfway from Boise and our destination on the coast. A really nice little place called Boardman Marina and RV Park. A full campground review is coming up next. All right, so let's get into this review and Boardman Marina and RV Park is a real gem. Really nice RV park, beautifully landscaped with tons of lush green lawn, which we'll get to here in a moment, and very strategically located. One of the reasons, as I mentioned, we decided to stay here. It's just an overnight, headed out to the coast. And as you can see on this map, Boardman, Oregon is almost exactly halfway between our home in Boise, Idaho and our destination for this trip, Depot Bay, Oregon on the coast, a difference of five miles. So really ideal for us as far as splitting the trip almost literally in half. And the big bonus, it's just a really nice place. Full service, full hookups, includes laundry. We paid $51 a night, which is a really good deal in our opinion, and just a beautiful place. And we really like our spot. This is the loop we're in. So it's a circle loop and you can see that there's angled spots all the way around. Lots of tree coverage. And we're here in, in late April, so I imagine later in the year when those trees are all in bloom, it'll be even nicer. But you can see the Columbia River, the mighty Columbia is right there. And when we booked this, um, we booked it in the fall last year, so well in advance. And we're staying here on the way out to the coast one night and on the way back one night. And as I mentioned, it's right at the halfway point, so it's perfect. And um, we think we got the best spot in the house. So this is our spot 29. There's a privacy fence right there, picnic table. Now what I really like, our spot, as you can see, is long enough that we just stayed hitched up, which is ideal on overnights. I just backed it all the way up. But the really nice thing, it's actually perfectly level. Um, not windy at all right now, which is a little unusual on the Columbia, but we'll take it so we can get the awning out. Um, so you can see I backed it all the way up to the, uh, to the curb here, which allowed for the steps to come out and she's perfectly level. So all hitched up, ready to go for tomorrow morning. And then we've got this view of the river, which is pretty spectacular. And there's like a green belt path that we're gonna go for a walk. So in the pantheon of overnight stays, just initial impressions, we just pulled up. This is probably as good as it gets. It checks off all the boxes. So you've got easy access. You have a site long enough to stay hitched up perfectly level so you don't have to dink around trying to level it and you've got one heck of a view so uh, we're very very impressed again just pulled up first impressions let's continue with the review we're out on the walking path it goes uh, about three miles all together and the marina is right there so we're going to walk around the marina but uh, one of the really nice things about this uh, RV park, you can see there is tons of grass. 
pretty much every site has a lot of grass, but then you have some really huge expansive lawns. So really great for kids, dogs, very well maintained, very impressive. We're on the other side of the marina. You can see the RV park over there. And so on this side, there's a park park. Um, there's like a canopy for events, restrooms, playground, uh, lots of lawn again. And I think there's a baseball diamond over there. It's actually a nice overall setup here. And again, um, lots of really great open spaces for families. And uh, the marina, you can see, has a very narrow entrance right there. So this is a very sheltered marina. So a nice setup here as the Columbia River can sometimes get pretty choppy. It is a really big river. Dumps out in Astoria, Oregon on the Pacific Ocean. Goes inland quite a ways. And a fun fact here on Idaho Voyager, the Columbia River, river goes eastward it meets up with the Snake River, which goes up to Lewiston, Idaho. And Lewiston has the distinction of being the farthest east inland port on the west coast. Ocean faring vessels can actually travel to Columbia through the Snake and get all the way into Lewiston, Idaho. So that's a little bit of a fun fact, a drop of knowledge, if you will, here on Idaho Voyager. So we're here on the trail along the beautiful Columbia and a very interesting and rare amenity that we've never seen at RV parks. All along this trail, it is dotted with actual workout equipment. They've got some weight training machines and here they have like an elliptical machine that Anna's gonna give it a go. But you can see we've got the RV park, our trailer's right over there and we can just uh, do a little exercise with Josie monitoring the situation. Pretty awesome. I would say that's a pretty big thumbs up. Wouldn't you, sweetie? Woo! All right, so that's gonna do it for this latest campground review right here on Idaho Voyager Boardman Marina and RV. We wholeheartedly recommend. If you enjoy the content and you find value in these types of reviews, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. That'll do it for this time. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Idaho Voyager.